Before I start um, part two of Tour of the Farm, I would like to show you this. It's a Kawasaki mule and it's a, a, a off-road agility thing. Like we can put feeding in the back there. And it's got a tow ball for towing, towing some trailers. And it's got lights. It's got a CVT gearbox, Kawasaki engine too, in there. That's not the engine, that's the fuel tank, still. Anyway, I'll show you it running. That's the end of this. Better get on with the video now. Hope you enjoy part two of Tour of the Farm. Hello everybody, it's the Great British Farm. And uh, this is Tour of the Farm part two. We stopped right here yesterday. We went up there. And I'm gonna continue the tour of the farm. As you can see, it's wet and windy today. Anyway, let's go. So that's yesterday. Just a couple of things sitting here. And Bill's bike feed us. No idea what these are, but oh, well, I think my dad told me there was something to do with training. I can't remember. It was a wee while ago. <coughs> We are round the back. Just uh, some cow mats lying there, fertilizer. In here is the inside feed passage and uh, a lot of straw. Let's go from our tractor, fertilizer spreader. One of the old. Uh, the old uh, feed cart, cart and trailer. This mower. This was in my hay video earlier in the summer. And yeah, it's done. We're, we're needing to get a new one. Post chaffer right there. Thanks, sleeps. We're gonna put in uh, um, a new feed passage and cubicles in here. So, yep, they've got a, that's where the slats are gonna be, so we're just gonna shove all the slurry down into there, just like over here. There's the slats right there. Here, we just got some chips out there and a water trough. And here's the cubicles. Well, between those two th uh, melts and the cow's sleep. We've got a wee mat. Brush. Some blocks. This is the sawdust. Like, uh, would uh, shovel it into there and just uh, take the barrel into the shed and just work our way down and spread uh, some sawdust onto the mats to keep them uh, quite nice and dry. <coughs> Trailer. Tiny wee car. 
Governor, Mom. The other cables. This time, this is the one that's connected to the outside. This is the old silage pit. Just the digger right there. That wasn't in my farm machinery video because, well, it was way out in the field. So yes, New Holland engine. I think the engine's made in uh, Essex down in England. I'm pretty sure of that. But the actual machine, like the digger, like all the New Holland diggers, they're made in Italy. If it's wet, we put some jewels on. The other jewels right over there. Very nice machine. We'll start it up. nice. Some Heston bales just over there. This is the uh, dung spreader that was in my um, spreading dung video, well my last video. It's a Fraser 1000 Muckmaster. Made by K2 as well. And I think it's 2002 Fraser went bust. It used to be made up in Aberdeen, but uh, now they're made down south. Still, very, very good. Nice, various tiles on it. This is where we used to set the, uh, right here, um, the silage bales, or well, the haylage bales. But since we built the new silage pit over there uh, last year, we don't uh, do bales anymore. Well, uh, silage bales anymore because we can just fit all the silage in that uh, huge pit. Some old tiles. Water thing, drainage thing, that's just going to get covered over quite soon. I mean, when we built that uh, big silage pit there, it used to be a bog in there. Like, we dug it all up and put it in the silage pit, and we needed to uh, divert all the drains, so we had to make new drains and everything. So, yeah. A effluent tank. been open. Just the JCB sitting there. Uh, we mix the, some straw into the silage just so uh, like it spins it out and we've got more of it. Also um, if the, the silage is quite rich and uh, if it's too rich the cows can get the skittles which is uh, the Scottish word for diarrhea. Well, really runny poo, and yeah. We just opened this a couple of days ago. This is inside the mixer. To burn them far up. Made by Mia. 
of Germany. Spy looking. A very nice machine. Concrete draw. Over here for some feeding. Some uh, wheat in, uh, some crushed wheat and uh, barley, sorry, in there, and feed it to the cows, it's very good. Some old whales, some old some troughs over there. I think we'll go up to the sheep shed now. It's windy. This is where we handle all the cows and that. They go in there. That wee shelter there, we do stuff to them like uh, removing the horns and trimming their hair. Ready to go into the market. Well, their head here anyway. This over here is the sheep dipper. And then there under those uh, wooden hangs, there's uh, some dip. And it gets pumped with a wee 65. Uh, and it comes out the yeah, we're over the top him. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, nice and fit to go to market. Right. <coughs> this is inside the sheep shed. Very nice wee blacky tops. That bit's bed because the hogs are about to come in and then they'll go away in February. These are some nice blue lesters tops. These are a lot friendly. Come on. That's uh, our new top. We got them a couple of weeks ago. He's a good one. These are some more blackies. These are just about to get bedded. I'm surprised how friendly that one is. Oh. Yep. And that's where we doze the sheep and give them some spraying. Just some bags of wheat over there. These are the pet lambs. Though they aren't actually pets, but they're the ones that lost their mum when uh, it was lambing time. They're about to go out. Well, not about to go out, they're staying in. Because it's winter, anyway. These are some pellets for feeding them. We, we, this is where we uh, clip the sheep. The clippers hang up there. Some spray. This is normally where like the bit like the tiny wee pet lambs go, but since it's not a, a lambing time, it just gets turned into a bin. Then when it's lambing time, we empty it all out and put some straw in it for the wee lambs. That's the light that keeps them warm. <coughs> Huge feed bins. 
That one's bigger than the other one. Full of pellets. This is a hen house. My gran keeps her hens in here. I doubt there'll be any in it, but we'll have a look. Nice eggs for us. See, there's a couple of eggs in there. No hens though. They're only out wandering the farm. goes in and the lorry backs up here and then they load them in. These are my wee Beltex tops down there. Nice green field. Gravel. This is the hay shed. Even though we call the hay shed we keep loads of straw in here too. And as you can see round the back, there was loads of straw around there because, well, this shed is pretty big and it's full. So yeah, I'm putting them in the back. Some brand new gates. Anyway, that's been the tour of the farm. Thanks for watching.